Welcome back to Winning Law. I'm attorney David Wynn with offices in Houston, Texas. And today we're just going to briefly talk about what happens after your immigrant petition or your non-immigrant petition is approved by USCIS. So if you file an I-129F fiancé petition or an I-130 family-based petition, after it's approved by USCIS, the USCIS will forward that approval notice to a place called the National Visa Center, or NVC for short. Once the NVC receives the documents, most likely they're going to send you a welcome letter. Now, in the past, the NVC used to send out mails, so they would actually use USPS and they will send it out via post, a notice that the case has been received, and they would either ask you to pay visa application fees online, submit required documents, or tell you to wait until a visa number becomes available. Nowadays, and I think it's been over a year now, the government is no longer mailing any physical welcome letters to any individual. Instead, they're sending it via email. So if you don't have a habit of checking your emails or you have the habit of forgetting your passwords and forgetting how to access your emails, this is going to become a big problem not only for you, but for the foreign national as well. Because once the visa becomes available, and the National Visa Center contacts you, you have one year to go into their website, pay the required visa application fee, and submit the required documents. If more than one year has elapsed after they notified you and you did nothing, most likely the I-130 is going to be closed and you have a situation where you're going to have to refile the I-130 or I-129F petition and start all over again with USCIS. That's how serious it is. And you might be wondering, what's the big deal? Why can't I just pay the visa application fee now and move forward? They just don't do this. And frankly, if it's not within, sometimes if your case is denied based on inactivity within 30 to 60 days, the government will let you go in there and contact the NVC and they may reopen your case and make you pay the you know the filing fee all over again. However, in most situations when clients come to us, more than three to six months have passed away and the National Visa Center, they're not going to be very agreeable or amenable to reopening that visa application. Instead, they're going to tell you that unfortunately, since one year has passed and you never contacted them, that you have to refile the I-130 or I-129F petition all over again and restart the case all over again. So hopefully after watching this video, you understand why it's important for you to either check your emails periodically or hire an attorney. That way you are relieved of having to check your emails religiously or periodically because hopefully your immigration attorney is very good and they're going to be experienced enough to when they see the email from the government, they're going to recognize exactly what it is and they're going to notify you of the same. This way you are notified of all the important deadlines and notifications and you're not going to miss the cutoff period to submitting your visa application. Again, thank you for watching Winning Law. I'm attorney David Wynn and we hope that we have made immigration easier to understand. David Wynn's Law Office We are here to help you We bring families together through immigration and on the other hand we help you find solutions All your legal needs in the hands of people who care Who are there for you We'll take care of your loved ones at the law office of David Wren